What up, Coop Group? Welcome back to Alliance Wars Season 21, War Number 5, where we take on Savage Squad. It's my first time going against this alliance ever in this game, and we are trying our best to stay deathless. And we're doing a really good job so far, as in we as in me, <laughs> doing a good job so far. But yeah, we're going with the same team. Um, this They do have a really good, not stacked, but really good defense. There weren't too many rank 3s, but did go against a lot of 5 stars, I believe. Um, I'm going to be on Path 9, Hazard Shift first. Um, I was a bit worried about the Iron Man Infinity War on Hazard Shift, but I'm just going to play him exactly like I played the Summoner Showdown. Um, then we have Path 1, which is going to be quite fun, and then that Black Widow Deadly Origins, which I'm very stressed about because I know that if you, when she misses, she gets an Evade Charge. So I'm going to play that very differently, and then there is a MODOK on Hazard Shift Mini Boss. And nobody planned for him. So yeah, this is going to be a fun war. So let's get into it. So I'm boosting up pretty decent here. Um, I plan on taking the next four wars, four fights in a row on the same boosts. Um, there's two hazard shift. The mini boss is 789. And then node number 22, I believe it is. Um, and that fight gets a little fun. But anyways, I'm boosting up sort of kind of big here. With a 30% boost because I have so many of them in overflow that's going to be expiring in like two days. So I threw on some. I have 15% boost that are overflowing, which is so nice to have all these boosts overflowing because I've never had to boost up this big before. Anyways, Hazard Shift Mole Man, he is a stubborn defender. So I'm making sure that I only take a blocked hit when he uh, when I have a special 2 ready, which is right here. So I do something really clever here. I evade this and I block this hit right here and then... I do my full combo, which this special 2 with Hazard Shift up just completely destroys him. That was over 170,000 special 2. Super simple. Now on to this Hazard Shift Iron Man Infinity War. And this fight, I'm not going to say it was scary, but it didn't go the way I wanted it to. Because I really was hoping to get to a special 2. But he played defensive, he played offensive at the wrong time. And I'm phasing the beginning of the fight. Just so I can um, I can get as much power as I can at the beginning of the fight. I don't want to waste a power start one boost if I don't have to. I'm getting all this power right now. I phase through all those hits again so I can get power start one. Oh, so I can get as much power as I can. Um, I'm almost at a special two. I'm trying to beat out his special one. He's not throwing it. I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to hit into him here. Hopefully get some debuffs. One debuff, two debuffs. Perfect. Throw a special two with those two debuffs on. Perfectly played. And that fight is down. Next is a Matador Void. And I'm still boosted up. in the same exact boost that I had for those last two fights. Going straight into this fight. It is a rank 5 Void. And if you're going to be in Masters, honestly, you should be placing some rank 3 Stubborn Defenders. Um, we have a few. Not saying that like if you have rank 5s, you can do bad. Because Stavis Squad is a really good alliance. And they played really well this war. Anyways, I can't do any special, so I'm trying to make sure that I keep up on my um, on the 10 hit combo when I need to. Um, I'm going to try and get to a special 2 when I can. And luckily, Void isn't the best placement on this node. Like At first, when this season started, or when this war map started, you thought the Void would be a good on this node, but he's not entirely. I have a special 2. I'm ready to go. I chucked the special 2 in his face, and he's done just like that. Super simple. No items used yet. But yeah. That node is good to put someone who has buffs because then it makes it so that when you get a bar of power, you are automatically power drained already. Anyways, Mysterio. And the end of this fight is a bit sketch. And I think I take a few hits because I'm not very smart. But this is power snack and backup recovery Mysterio. And I play this fight decent. There's parts where I play good, parts where I play bad. I'm putting on a 150 tech boost because I know that I want those specials in a row just so I can just finish them quicker because this is a rank 3. I believe rank 3 Mysterio. He has so much health. He is not stubborn, so it's not an issue at all. I'm getting all my big hits off at the beginning of the fight just so I can with those two Furies from my suicides. I'm also a special 2. And um, you'll see that my special gets him just below the 50% mark. So I, I wait a second to phase here, and I phase after. Because I know that backup recovery initiated. So if I phased right away, my phase could have ended by the time we threw a special 3. So I threw my phase 
right before he got his special three. I knew he was going to throw it right after he got it. But I'm very proud of that timing. I saw the pocket recovery. If I wasn't paying attention, I could have been screwed. I have another special two here ready to throw. I throw it right here. And it doesn't finish him off. I'm like, dude, that didn't do as much damage as I wanted. Then he throws a special one in here. I'm like, oh, I'm in the corner. And he has a special one. I am so in trouble. He's going to throw a heavy into my face. I'm going to have to evade every single heavy that he throws in my face just so I can't do it. He throws that. I get to another special two. And this fight is over just like that. And I'm so happy how that fight went. So happy. Four fights down, five to go. I believe this is the most amount of fights I've had this season because I finally have been placed on paths that have a lot of defenders on them and I finally got a chance to take some mini bosses, which I don't typically get chances. Anyways, we're going against the EMP mob, Burner of Might, Human Torch. And you just have to be careful because you know that you're going to be blocking the specials. Like, because unless you're perfectly able to evade it, you're going to get hit or block it. So I think he's pretty decent on this node. Plus, um, I believe the reason why they put him here is just so you can't put Doom against this. Because Doom has non-contact energy hits and it'll build him up, I believe. Um, plus, Doom is a mystic, so you can't really use Doom on this node. But they forgot that Quake would work great on this node, as would Ghost. So I am fully healed back up again. Well, almost fully healed back up again. And I'm going to take the next three fights... Boosted at the same exact boosts. I believe I put on a 200% tech boost. Or, yeah, 200% because I have, like, no more other tech boosts left. And I have the 30% boost on again. 15% boost. Whatever I need to do. Um, but I do, I do so much damage. He's already so far down. This 5-star has, like, no health compared to what, like, I'm used to on so many other fights. I'm trying to get a Fury. And I'm blocking here to re-parry if I can. So he doesn't throw a special. I have a special 2 ready. I chuck it in his face. And this fight is over. Now, if you want a good tactic of how to make sure they don't throw specials, hold block. If you're good at re-parrying, then basically you have your in no matter what. He's going to throw either a heavy into you or a double medium, and you'll just re-parry the second hit or just dodge the heavy, and you have your in right there. Anyways, we have a Vigor and Indomitable Sentinel. He is a stubborn defender. This is a rank 2 6-star, I believe, Awakened. Uh, about to see in a second. Yeah, rank 2 6-star. So he has a decent amount of health, but still, one special two will get this guy down just like that. So I'm doing a block method just because I know that he is um, stubborn. I'm trying to get as much damage as I can. He's already at 60% after like a few hits, which is nothing. I'm trying to get this two as quick as I can here. You're going to see that I'm going to do a heavy attack here to see if I can get a fury. I get a fury. It's perfect. I'm trying to see if he throws a special one. He does not. I have a special two ready. Like I said, one special two in this fight is over. This tech boost was so wasted. I'm so mad that like I should have just looked at the champions and noticed I didn't need this. But anyways, this next fight is what I really boosted for, this Black Widow Deadly Origins. I did a few duels against her, and I read her profile, and I read that when she when you when she misses against Ghost, she gets an evade charge. So I know that with Buffet and Lionheart and just whatever nodes are on here, um, I know that I need to do just parry her as much as I can. She's not a stubborn defender, so she's not that hard. But well, look at this. After just three parries, she's already down to 56%. 50%, eight hits. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm trying to make sure she doesn't throw a special one. If she does, it's fine. But I know that I'm going to end up dodging it with Buffet. But I'm like, no, I'm just going to finish this fight. I don't want to deal with anything here. Special one, done. Just like that, I did not need that tech boost. I'm at 91%. I lost, what, like 8% health? Total in those, like, three fights. Phew. All right, on to the mini-bosses. <laughs> so the moment we reach the mini-bosses, I'm looking. I'm like, there's a MODOK on Hazard Shift. I'm looking at everyone in my battle group. No one brought a Red Hawk. No one brought a Corvus with a Proximus Energy. There's nobody good for that MODOK. Nobody brought a Magneto, but Magneto on Hazard Shift wouldn't work anyways. So I'm like, dude, the only option is Ghost, and I hate this, and... I was about to go to bed, and then the leader said that they already chose that I was the best for this fight. And I'm like, okay, so I did a few duels against Modoc, and I'm like, he's stubborn. So it's going to be really hard to get an in because of his auto block and the fact he's stubborn. So you'll see that the fight is, it's a scary fight using Ghost, and it's not an easy one. But first we have this Dr. Voodoo on um, Indominal and Vigorous Assault. So anytime that he is regening, he is unblockable. 
And of course, Dr. Voodoo is not a sub defender, but he automatically regen to begin the fight because he's awakened and probably max sick at this point. He's going to have a long ass regen, which means he's super unblockable for the longest time. But of course, with Ghost or Quake would be great here too, or anyone if you can intercepts, uh, you can easily destroy this fight. He is decent play. He's decent placement, but not amazing placement. I have a special two ready. I throw it. I phase my recoil from a special two because I have a power boost on for the next fight, and he's done just like that. Super simple fight. I lost no health at all in that fight. Now on to the most skillful fight in this whole war. I'm gonna say for anybody besides the boss, for anybody in this whole war, this fight requires so much skill. I practiced so much for it. And I was just so scared because I know that I am deathless this season so far <laughs> up to this point. And it's only a rank 5 Modoc. He only has 230,000 health. Only 230,000. He has Hadra Shift. And I need to use that to my advantage. But he's also stunning me. And so I can't parry him. And it won't stun him. So I have these boosts on. I'm considering throwing on a, a power set 1 boost to get to a special 2 as quick as I can. Because that's the only way I'm going to get this fight. And I only throw on my power boost when I am ready to go into the fight because I don't want to waste time in case I die. Not that I ever plan on dying. But as you see, I'm, I'm just delaying because I'm breathing, trying to get ready for this fight. Put on the power boost. Press fight right away. And let's get into this fight. So the tactic is to get those pressure to as quick as I can. Um, block him, have him throw um, heavy try and knock down his his auto block charge um and yeah so right here i'm almost at special two i was too far away there i'm gonna knock down his auto block charge right here um and then right there i have perfect in to do a special two perfect in i have another special two ready but he threw a special one which took away some of my power i'm like crap 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 okay so i didn't plan for that to happen um i need to do the same thing just knock down his auto block charge right here I get a hit there out of nowhere. Just got it. Dexterity didn't proc. Thank God. Fight down in 11 hits. And I was so scared of that fight. It's either going to go really well or really not well. And I know that if he had a special one ready, I had to block it to make sure that he wouldn't take my power drain like he did there. But that fight is down. We had nine fights this war. We had zero deaths. Still deathless. We won this war. Um, it was a close war until it wasn't. Um, the beginning of the war was going pretty well. They were dying on, I would say, some hard and simple nodes. But thank you, Savage Squads, for the war. Um, it, it was a, a fun war for sure. I had some fun fights. I'm looking forward to the next time we match up. Um, but now we are five and zero. Oh. I really thought I was gonna be MVP after those nine fights. I need one more fight to get MVP. But we are, as you see in one second, Masters rank three. We have hit the top three in the whole global world, and we are not realizing that if we can keep winning our wars, we can finish top three this season. Like, we can do this. It's only five wars so far, and we have another seven to go. And if we can get matched up with some decent fights without dying, we can finish top three. But we're pretty much guaranteed masters. But anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to this war. This is Coop, signing off. Happy gaming.